A lot has happened in the world of the Cosmic Rust desktop over the last month. Today, we'll be recapping those things and figuring out how close we're getting to the alpha release. First off, an app that has been getting a lot of love lately is the Cosmic Store. And it's important that it does because it's one of the most crucial applications for the desktop environment as people interact with it to get all of their apps. I'm glad they're spending extra time here, especially with the performance of this app. For those of you who have used it, you'll notice significant improvements in the interaction with this app. They've also made the Explore feature even nicer, boiling it down into subcategories, including Editor's Choice, Popular Apps, Recently Updated, Development Tools, Scientific Tools, Productivity Apps, and more. Now, what I really like about this particular app store is how easy it is to see many different apps, including a small dialogue showing you the name of the app and a brief description. Now, you can click on any of these apps to easily install them and get some information as well as changing up what type of repository it's from. So you can get source repositories and or you can get FlatHub. It tells you more information and gives you pictures or screenshots of the app itself. At the bottom, it tells you what version it's currently running and a more in-depth description. Anyways, I've gone through this quite a bit. Just wanted to briefly update you all on the performance. It's definitely great as I've been using it more and more. And we have a new blog called Satisfy Your Monthly Cosmic Fixes which we're gonna be getting into. But I wanna let you know that we're gonna be checking out a few clips out of the Linux Fest Northwest because it was a success for System76 as it showcased their new desktop environment with quite a few people in attendance. You'll wanna stick around to the end of the video to check those out as well. We're fixing to fix your unfulfilled fix for more Cosmic with a new Cosmic blog. Quite the tongue twister there. And here it is, we've been hard at work building out features, polishing up implementations, and getting ready to unleash the alpha release of the Cosmic desktop environment to the world. Here are the updates. Hint, hint, they're getting close. If the team at System76 right now is focused on modifying the user experiences, and particularly the UI and mainly bug busting at this point, that means we're getting close to an alpha release. How soon? Well, we can check out the epic but before we do, let's talk about mirroring. Display mirroring is nearly finished, including cases where resolutions, orientations, and refresh rates are different on the displays being mirrored. Next steps include implementing support for display mirroring into Cosmic Settings and Cosmic Render, as well as completing further optimizations. ARM architecture support. Now this is a big one. They're building ARM 64 packages for Pop! OS 24.04 for high performance ARM build CI and AI interface workloads, thanks in part to Jeremy Solar, for building the generic ARM64 UEFI ISO. We can see it here working in the background. So this means things like building and running Pop! OS on a Mac should be possible and many other ARM64 boards. And even though that the team probably does not want to provide Mac images, you'll probably still want to use Acai Linux, but this will make future Cosmic packages much easier to install on Linux distributions like that. So another win for the Cosmic desktop Let's talk about the Cosmic App Store. The ultra-fast Cosmic App Store is nearly implemented, and all that's left for the alpha is to polish up some minor UX issues. We already looked at that, and their CEO, Carl Rochelle, has expressed their amazement of the speed as well. I can confirm it's pretty great, and especially when you start comparing it to other stores, like the GNOME Store, there's a clear difference. You'll definitely want to check it out yourself whenever you get a hold of the alpha. Cosmic Files. GNOME Virtual File System integration was added for handling external storage, such as flash drives or network shares. Meanwhile, a new context menu in files navigation has been also added. We can see it here, but since we have a source build, let's check it out ourselves. Here we go. A very simple and wonderful to use file manager and or browser. You can get through pretty quickly, go back, change the directory manually, and have access to subcontext menus. But what they've added is if you right click now, you can open anything in a new tab and or a new window, making it even easier to navigate as these small but awesome improvements keep getting implemented to the desktop. This alpha version, I don't think it's going to feel like an alpha with how heavily the team is focused on getting things right. I feel like we're going to get into a beta much quicker than we think. Continuing on for more updates, the Cosmic Reader has been integrated with Login D, adding the ability to lock a session on an idle timer as well as an unlock suspended session. For those of you, Worried about giving access to the system while you're away? Okay, well, fear no more, as the greeter has become even more advanced. Now, we haven't looked at the greeter in quite a while, so let's just check it out real quick as a refresher. It has connection and battery information, clock, current date, time, 
an accessibility menu, keyboard map menu, logging in and out of different users, and finally a way to log into your system. Overall, I like how we see our background in behind the greeter and how simple and modern the actual greeter looks. I think they've done a fantastic job, especially with the theming support that you're gonna see here. With the alpha, it really is cohesive across the system, including on the greeter. Cosmic Edit now supports carriage return and line feed encoded files, which are commonly used on Windows. Drag and drop, the ability to drag and drop text images has been added to Cosmic Files, segmented buttons, and the libcosmic menu. Navigation menu, a few compositor bugs related to drag and drop were also fixed. Copy and paste clipboard support has been implemented for both the launcher and the app library. The ease of use here in Cosmic is fantastic as they're really focused in on subtle but awesome features such as being able to copy and paste off the launcher because I technically use that thing for all sorts of math. Instead of just using it for a launcher, I really use it as a calculator as well. And it's great to be able to copy in and out in numbers and when you're doing conversions and some convoluted arithmetic. Anyways, LibCosmic, a generic context menu widget, has been added to the LibCosmic widget library and, enable, and enables the ability to use context menus anywhere. Context menus were also added to the segmented button widget to support right-click menus on elements such as navigation bar windows. What does that look like? Well, here you go. You can see it now. We have pages here and we can move up, down, and delete. So varying different menu tree options will be applied for particular widgets. Theming fixes have been made, including fixing custom light mode themes, which are receiving some errors. Text and buttons in the header weren't all inheriting the user's chosen accent color, so that's been helped as well. With some tweaks here by Michael, with this fix for icons and text in the header bar, not inheriting the accent color. More theme and appearance improvements. Icon themes have been added to the app library. Slider and toggler, radii, updates, panel corners are now matched the users round, slightly round or square preferences and applet size fixes. More fixes were made to the screenshot tool, network applet, nested pop-ups, scrolling and animation states. And then there's a few compositor fixes, including some memory leaks and fixes to the cursor planes. Now some more exciting news as the Cosmic community is growing and they're starting to give us even more custom applications that are going to be made specifically for Cosmic Desktop. We're gonna get into these in a moment, but I do want you to take a moment to smash that like button for me. It really does help me out. As we're talking about the Linux Fest Northwest, that's a wrap. There's a great recap of how Linux Fest Northwest went with the System76. A lot of people in attendance, as it was a success for System76, while they were showcasing their desktop environment, they were clearly having a great time. What's even better is that they actually recorded some of this with a presentation from Maria and Carl Rochelle himself, the CEO and founder of System76. I'm gonna put a link to this blog post in the description below if you wanna check it out. It's a great read, but why read when we can watch it ourselves? Here's the presentation of the Linux Fest Northwest 2024 called Meet Cosmic Desktop Environment. Of course, what took over a lot of the fest was the fact that the Cosmic Desktop Environment is being developed. And they talk about things like why build Cosmic in the first place, which is here. That's definitely a key moment. Other things like the user experience and theming support, giving us some cool demos. I want to check out a couple parts that I found very interesting, but I do want to quickly warn you the audio isn't the best, but we're going to work through that together. Here Maria is giving us an example of how the appearance and theming support work. It is the container background, and if you click on it, it's going to explain a little bit more, but this is that back second background that we calculate automatically by default because not potentially every person is going to even try to change that one, but you can if you switch to that. So I think this is pretty cool as the desktop is going to try coming up with a complementary container back background color for you as you pick your primary or accent colors out. And what that does for you is what we see here, giving you a pretty cohesive experience, Maria using the slider herself. Let's check it out. Change it, yeah, totally. So you're changing these, um, the background with text on top. Yeah. So if you didn't hear that, the contrast here is being calculated by itself in order to try making it as best as possible for the user experience. So as the container background color is being changed, we're applying this change not only in the fly, but we're getting what the system thinks is the best contrast so you can effectively and efficiently read all text on the screen. No more were the days of guessing what all matches or doesn't match, but you also have the ability to go completely rogue and customize everything yourself. Definitely something I wanted to show off. Then a few times, a bit of a jarring experience was selected. 
but we can still see how the text appears quite crisp and still able to be read. So another part of the Linux Fest Northwest conference here was talking about Cosmic V2. Yes, they're already thinking about it as a team. Version two, let's hear Carl. Getting feedback, um, but we're already thinking about what is Cosmic V2 look like because we got to stop adding features and then ship Cosmic. Yes. Which is fantastic to hear as we're getting more and more community buy-in and apps built by not just the System76, but by community members who like using the desktop environment already. Let's go check some of those out. I definitely suggest going to check out the entire conference video. I'll put a link in the description below. If you're excited about the Cosmic Desktop environment, they show a lot of cool demos. Very simple task management application for the Cosmic Desktop made by Eduardo Flores. Cosmic Tasks has now received an update, making it look better. And if you didn't see it or guess, they've added emojis. With a brand new emoji chooser, it's made the app pop quite a bit. But what's fantastic here is this is a community member who is actually building Cosmic Tasks. And they're doing a fantastic job rolling this out even before we get an alpha release. Another shout out to Eduardo because they've also supplied a Cosmic application template. So if you want to start your own application, you can get started right away by using Eduardo's template for development. That way you can fast track to making your own app on the Cosmic Rust desktop environment. Simply pull this down, run sudo apt install just, build for release, and then do sudo just install. Another great application a web app manager written with libcosmic called web apps. This is by Elevin H soft cosmic web apps. It is a web app manager for cosmic desktop written with love and libcosmic allow you to simply create web applications from a given URL working inside separate window of your browser of choice. Very simple UI, but a great tool to have five web apps have been installed here. You can edit or delete them. We have duck duck go web app path of exile, Macedon and Messenger. All of them are launched by Firefox, but they are native to the desktop environment and can be launched directly from the app. Title, URL, any non-standard arguments to launch it, and then you get to select whatever browser you want. You can select an icon for your app, and that's it. There's source code available, and you can actually install it to try it out today. But I really think this just goes to show you how excited the Linux and open source community are for the Cosmic Rust desktop, people are already starting to contribute themselves. And there's people even focused on accessibility, including Dominic, who has created an input sources applet, which allows you to quickly access and adjust keyboard layout settings. You can see it here. Finally, we track what Cosmic Ep Epic One looks like. So for Alpha One to get released here, we have some application bugs, bugs to do, and features to do. Last time I checked, we had about 73 or so bugs to do and they're slowly getting squashed here as every day the team is getting closer and closer we seem to be fast approaching the alpha as the best guess is hopefully within the next month or so we'll be seeing a complete alpha one release the team is definitely working diligently towards releasing the desktop as i'm excited to experience this new desktop environment myself i want to know what you think about the desktop environment what you've seen so far how you think things are progressing are there any features that you'd like to see that you haven't quite yet? Put them all in the comments section below. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.